Welcome to International Auto Reviews, where we don't just explore cars, bikes, and aviation tech, but also the most groundbreaking defense technology shaping tomorrow. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most anticipated and controversial defense projects of recent years, the USA's GM-183 Hypersonic, and a missile now lined up for fresh procurement and testing. In 2026, let's break down what makes this missile. So, talked about its unique specs performance and what might come next, the AGM-183 also known as the Air Launch Rapid Response Weapon, or ARRW, has a story almost as fast and intense as its mock. Five plus speeds. Originally developed by Lockheed Martin, this Boost Glide hypersonic missile was envisioned to give the United States a high-speed precision strike option, especially to counter similar advances from countries like China and Russia. After years of development, tests, and setbacks, the 2026 defense budget has allocated hundreds of millions of dollars to revive production, which means this missile isn't going away anytime soon. At its core, the AGM-183 isn't just about speed, though its speed is absolutely stunning, designed to exceed Mach 5 and in some tests reportedly reaching even higher velocities this missile uses. A rocket booster to quickly climb and then releases an unpowered glide body that hurdles toward its target. This glide body is what makes the missile so challenging to detect and intercept because once it's released, it follows a lower and less predictable path compared to traditional ballistic missiles. When we look at the specs of the AGM-183, the numbers tell their own story. The missile is about 6.4 meters long and weighs close to 3,000 kilograms. Its range is estimated at roughly 1,600 kilometers, giving it the ability to engage high-value targets far behind enemy lines. These could include command centers, radar installations, or mobile missile launchers that would otherwise be hard to reach. Quickly, its warhead remains classified, but experts suggest it could deliver either a conventional or potentially nuclear payload depending on the mission. Requirement, one of the most significant features of the AGM-183 is its adaptability to multiple aircraft platforms, initially designed to be carried by the legendary B-52H bomber. It's also being evaluated for integration with fighter. Jets like the F-15E and possibly the newer F-15E X. This means that in future conflicts, American forces could have a fast and flexible strike capability without relying solely on larger bombers. The AGM-183 isn't just about raw numbers, though. It represents a dramatic shift in modern warfare strategy. Hypersonic weapons like this missile shorten the time from launch to impact, reducing an adversary's reaction. A window two mere minutes. It also poses unique challenges for current missiles. Defense systems, because its maneuvering glide body can shift trajectory, making interception far harder than with traditional ballistic threats. Of course, the path to operational readiness hasn't been smooth. The AGM-183 faced a series of failed flight tests that pushed back its timeline and drew. Criticism from observers who questioned its reliability and the high cost of hypersonic programs overall. But the 2026 budget's renewed funding shows that us Department of Defense remains committed to bringing this capability online. Some defense analysts argue that even with setbacks, the very existence of such a weapon forces potential rivals to reconsider their own strategies, which itself is a kind of strategic success. Looking ahead, there are still questions to be answered about the AGM-183's final design. Will it carry multiple glide bodies to hit separate targets? Will it have advanced targeting systems capable of adjusting mid-flight or even real-time retargeting using data links? Will the production version truly achieve operational speeds above Mach 7? As some internal reports have hinted at, these are details we'll be watching closely as new tests and updates arrive over the next year. From a purely technical perspective, the AGM-183 is a fascinating glimpse into how engineering and physics come together in modern defense systems. The materials needed to withstand hypersonic speeds, intense heat, and dynamic pressures are at the cutting edge of aerospace technology. The guidance systems must remain rock solid, even as the missile moves at thousands of kilometers per hour. And integrating such a system into an existing bomber or fighter requires careful planning to balance payload and aerodynamics and electronic systems. So whether the AGM-183 becomes a fully fielded weapon or simply shapes future designs, it's Influence on global defense thinking is already huge. For military strategists, engineers, and anyone fascinated by aviation technology, this is a project to keep an eye on in 2026 and beyond. You've been watching International Auto Reviews, where we look beyond just autos to cover the most advanced technologies in the air, land, and sea. 
If you enjoyed this deep dive into the AGM-183 hypersonic missile, don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel so you never miss our next review or update on breakthrough defense and tech innovations. Thanks for watching and see you next time.